You ready to go to the farm today? Are you excited? I'm, I'm just kidding. Sorry, sorry to get your hopes up. You can't go to the farm yet, buddy. You're not like, I mean, you're not really a farm dog for one. I know, I know, I know. It's okay. It's okay. You're not really a farm dog. We'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. You just quit. Would you just relax? I'll take you for a walk later and life will be good. You can't go to the farm yet though. Riggs and Bonnie, we, we have to wait for them to get back. We have to wait for your friends to get back and then you can go down. Okay. I promise you can go down. I, it just, you got to be patient. I know you're bummed. I know you're bummed. It's okay. It's okay. We'll go down there. Good morning. Flare fishing fam. Today, don't think we're going fishing. We are going to the farm. The farm has water on it, but I don't think there's any fish in there. We're not really going to be doing much fishing. We're just going to be doing farm things today. We've, I think we've got a, we've got a bunch of different stuff. You know, I, I, I don't really want to get too much into that because sometimes you get to the farm and you just, you just go about your day doing A, B, C, D, and E, and you don't really know where you're going to end up. Things happen. So I'm not going to even say what we're getting into, but what I am going to say is all Flare gear is now back in stock and there's new designs. We even brought back stuff like this, like the Angry Toad. We've got the hats. We've got a bunch of new designs, bunch of new products for you guys. We brought some back from last summer. Some of the bangers. We brought them back. So if you guys click the link at the very top of the description, go check it out. Get geared up for the spring. Get geared up for fishing season. The Flare merch does bring you good luck. I've seen lots and lots and lots of photos on the gram of people catching giant fish. Not just Nebraska brutes, actual giant bass wearing the Flare merch. So it's got to work. It obviously works. Finn, tell them. Does the flare merch bring them good luck? Yeah, that's a yes. It's it, it's right paw is a yes, left paw's a no. All right, let's let finish side. Ready? Go. Oh, there, there you go. It's a yes. It's a yes. See, if you guys don't even believe me, you can at least believe in. He definitely knows who he's talking about. But like I said, click the link at the very top of the description. Go click it. Go cop some merch. New designs are all back in stock. But anyways, Finn, I'm sorry, buddy. You can't go to the farm today. Maybe another time. But I will take you guys with me to the farm. You guys stay tuned. A few moments later. Woo! All right, folks. Made it to the farm. We got the waders on. We gotta go check the beaver traps. We're down at the farm. We, me and Austin, we set some beaver traps the other day. So we gotta, we gotta get those traps going. And look who's back. I'm back, back again. You were gone. How was, how was, I don't know what to call it. I guess your adventure. My hiatus. Your hi yeah, how was it? Was it decent? Just, well, it was you much catch some fish? Like, I, you just need a break from you. you true, know I mean? true. That's true. I'm charged, though. I'm good. What do you think the odds are we got a beaver today? Uh, they, I, I felt pretty good about it. The two traps were pretty minty. You made those nice. They're hidden pretty well. I think I think we can get one. And most importantly, look who's back. What's up, buddy? How you been? How was the flood? Good talk. Well, folks, Riggs is back and better than ever. Actually, Bonnie's, Bonnie's still not back, so we got to get Bonnie here, but... We're gonna go check the beaver dam. We might also look for some deer sheds and we, there's some cows. The calves are here. Cats are here. I love it this time of year when the calves are here. We gotta go check on the calves. So you guys just stay tuned. It's gonna be a good farm vlog. I think you guys might enjoy. Well folks, we're headed to go check on the cows. But before we do that, it's shed hunt season. You know, the farm is flooded, but this is part of the farm that isn't flooded. So we're gonna kind of quickly drive through this little forest area looking for some sheds and then head to go see the new baby cows. Like an Easter egg hunt. This is the lazy way of doing it, just drive. Why don't we stop here and go walk that creek bed real quick. But yeah, it doesn't open the leaves are white, that's for sure. So the spot that we're at now, we actually, we filmed a couple times when it was, when it was snowing. We took the tundra down here, but we actually took the old warthog. We found this. This is an old, old pond bed. Like Kyle said there was a pond down here and I never saw it. This is, this used to be full. This is kind of the dam and then it kind of runs off into this old area here. But this was a pond at one point. How sick would have that been? Just to have a freaking pond here in the middle of the forest. We didn't find any sheds though. We see a lot of, a lot of deer tracks, but no sheds. I don't know anything about shed hunting. So if you guys have any tips for me, you can comment them down below. We're gonna keep walking around. That's not really this video. We're just like, hey, we're, we're right next door. Let's just, let's gander for them. Let's take a look and see if we can find anything. I got this. Just, just give it a dangle. Why am I so nervous? I don't know. I just don't want to get electrocuted. I just don't want to jump on that thing. <laughs> gotta jump over it. <laughs> we're at the cows. There are some cows. What do you say, 124? We're, we gotta. We need. We need to look out for 124. He said. Jake said. If, if he or she, would, I guess it'd be a she, starts kicking up mud, to just get the hell out of here. So we'll see if Bonds will die us today. We were, we came here to video the cows. We gotta show you guys the cows. They're so cute. Aww. Hey buddy. 124. I don't see her. Okay. 124. Is it the one over there? Look how cute they are. They're yeah, so cute. They're so 
super cute. Look how cute they are. I wish I could get a little bit closer. Like okay, so we've we've come to the conclusion 124 has to be down there. Do you know how intimidating it is looking at something that's like the size of a small car? I mean, these guys are big. Come here, buddy. What do you have to, what, what kind of sound do you have to make to make a cow come? How bad do you think it hurt? I mean, it's not that bad. People do it. <laughs> Dude, you're really close. <laughs> well, what am I supposed Here, to do? Austin, come in between my Austin. arm. You can let go on the left hand. I got no, this. Come one. in. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, so come in you, here. Now you, no. there. Yeah, let give him some out. slack. How does Jake do this by himself? You ever seen, you ever seen two dumbasses trying not to get shot? Waiters are not the move. As far as I can go. That's as far as I can go. There, it's on. There, pull it. We didn't get shocked. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go check on them beavers. Woo! All right, is that a helicopter? It's a little bit moist, eh? What do you She's think? She, she is a little soggy. I don't know what that helicopter's doing. Anyways, we're gonna head down the beaver dam. Hey, I need those gloves. We figured out the beaver. Okay, not well, not killing them, but we figured out how to do it. You wear waders and you bring these long gloves, and then you don't get wet or cold. Is he landing? What is he doing? Anyways, as I was saying, waders and long gloves makes all the difference. You don't get wet, you don't get cold. That's a coyote turd if I've ever seen one. That is a furry turd, my That's friend. Nice. John, get a little sniff. Oh, hard pass on give that it, Give it the old rackle to <laughs> sniff. Yeah. All right, well, we haven't killed all the coyotes. So we got coyotes and beavers. We got both of those as a problem here. Same location. This is like walking through a freaking swamp here. This is absolutely insane. I mean, it's just, look at this. How are we supposed to plant the freaking corn? All right, here we go. Let's hear it, listen. Well, it's not running. It's not flowing that much. I can hear something flowing, but it doesn't sound like it's flowing. Why? Well, it's, I mean, it's running, but it's pretty stinking plugged. I don't see any beavers, though. What if there's a beaver under here? No beaver? Nope. It went off. We've got another one down there. It's not flowing as much down there. I can't see anything yet. All right, we'll take that one back to Jake. You can't reset that one. Let's go check the other one. Well, they're using it. Do you guys remember, the first beaver we ever trapped was here. This is their den. So right now the beavers are sitting in here just laughing at us. They have like tunnels and in the winter they clog them so they stay insulated and then they don't leave. Um, now that it's kind of warmed up, looks like that's open. Well, the first beaver dam was clogged. The beavers were there. There are still beavers here. We checked out their hut. Their hut is open. So I think the plan right now is to go get these traps set. See if Jake's home and help set them, come back, We'll pull one at their den, put one at the beaver dam. We still have one more beaver dam to check. So we're gonna go check this one out. It doesn't look, it looks like the water is actually pretty low, meaning they probably, if they clogged it, they didn't clog it for a while. Um, they let it run down. So we're gonna go check this one out. And see if we got us ourselves a beaver. Well, it's still flowing and it didn't stop, but the water's way down. <gasps> what is it? Do you see what it is? Oh God, I'm scared. I'm gonna go over here. That thing's massive. We got a snapping turtle. <laughs> we literally trapped a turtle in a beaver trap. Like this thing collapsed on his shell. He's just been sitting there. So no wonder it didn't trap any beavers. Cause you, little guy, let's get, let's get a stick. Cause this little sucker decided he wanted to swim through our trap. It's crazy. Oh, he oh bit it. Oh my goodness. He bit it. Oh. On a good note, you can't eat these. For a fact, you can eat them. Honestly, like when we made that list in the fall, like, hey, let's try to eat everything like you know, get all the wild game we can here. Turtle wasn't even on the list. We didn't know there were snapping turtles here. I say we catch and cook them. I've heard of turtle soup. Anyone know how to clean one? No? YouTube does. Well, YouTube it. I guess we'll have to YouTube how to clean this. All right, time to dispatch them. All right, come here, turtle. Look at the tail. Yo, I think you eat the tail. Can you really? Look at the claws, bro. Dude, he looks like he's got a fresh manicure, honestly. That's dinner, boys. Hey. All right, I'm just gonna carry him out like this because I don't want to touch him. Eventually. We've got the turtle here, folks. We did, in fact, chop the head off. We tried to let it bleed out during the day today as we were you know, wrapping up filming and on the way home. But we are now home. We're gonna play this guy in the garage. Like I said, we chopped the head off. He's just kind of doing his thing right now, laying there dead. And uh, I'm not gonna show completely step-by-step -step how to do this, um, just cause I don't wanna like make it super, super graphic. There are some videos that show this. I will verbally explain what I'm gonna do, but I'm not gonna show me just like hacking into it. So first things first, we're gonna cut off each leg. There's four legs. You can see these, look at those fingernails. Those fingernails are gnarly on this thing. But we're gonna cut off the hands, the, the feet. Then you just take a knife, run it like this all the way around. Basically, you just, you're just gonna skin it off. So 
basically cut around the shell completely. We're gonna pull the skin all the way down. That's gonna expose all the meat. We'll cut the meat off. Then what you can do is you can actually cut part of this underbelly of the shell. You can cut right there, you can cut right there. And I'll show you, I'll show you guys that part, but we're gonna start with cutting off the hands, the feet, and getting the skin, exposing the meat, and, uh, and then I'll, I'll show you guys step two. And we are back, folks. Look at this guy. Completely skinned. I mean, there's a little bit of skin right there, but we'll take care of that later. Pretty much all skinned up. Now we have to see if we can crack the shell here and basically get the bottom of the shell out and then it's just gonna expose all the meat and then we cut off the main shell and then you're left with just the shell and a whole carcass, a whole entire turtle of meat. And then I'll probably end up just chunking the meat. You can probably quarter it out and whatever, but we're planning on just throwing the sucker in Frank. You guys know the drill. And I think it'll probably just taste the best if we just chunk out some meat, have some little, some little turtle nuggets and we'll see how they taste. Yeah, there, no, there's one, one more. Right here is the crease that you guys can cut if you're trying to cut. Makes your life a little bit easier, just slice it down like that. We're just gonna cut this bottom of the shell off. There's some, there's some tummy meat there, so we're gonna try to do that. Try to cut this all the way off, save some of that meat. That meat looks good. What I heard was turtles have, there's seven different kinds of meat. Like you have dark meat and white meat on like chicken. There's seven different kinds on turtle. So we're gonna try to get as much as we can, fry it all up and we'll see how it tastes. Forget man. Oh wow, it just takes a professional, that's my bad. Okay, well that's off. Look at all this meat, dude. This is like, this is a crazy amount of meat for just a small little turtle guy, you know? Absolutely incredible. So. I say let's just start chunk, chunking some meat. Well, let's quarter it out, and then let's just start cutting off some meat. Wow! Strong bones, eh? That is unreal, dude. We're not even making a dent. Okay, chill, chill. Jesus. Is it doing anything or not? Hey, oh, wait, go. wait. Wow, we're dumb. You just literally just pulled it out? Yeah, just pull it out. Okay. That's a lot of meat, man. Oh, there you there go. go. Oh, there's blood. I don't know how I feel about the meat. It doesn't look that great, but not bad. I mean, it's pretty much mine. One more to go. There we go. 12 seconds later. All right, folks, here we go. We got the spread set up. This is some of the turtle meat right here. We chunked it just off of some of the legs and stuff. No, that's not all the meat that came on it. We put the rest in the fridge, but we're not actually even hungry. We had dinner on the way home. We kind of messed up. We don't want to think about it, but we just, we basically got enough for two pieces for each of us. We figured, you know, if one piece is bad, try another one. If both pieces are, pieces are bad, then the turtle's probably, probably bad. So we've got enough pieces for, for two for each, all three of us. Then we've got the classic. You guys already know the drill. The Franks, the freaking hot sauce. Wing sauce style. And then, there's some normal flour. You can throw some salt and pepper in there if you want. I didn't. And that's, that's pretty much all we have. And we've got this thing. This is a new little fryer. That's oil and that's oil that's really hot. We're just gonna deep fat fry these guys and hopefully it doesn't taste like, uh, tastes like ass, you know? All right, take all these lovely gems. Oh yeah. Right into that, Frank's goodness. You know, if we had a lot of time, we would sit here and just let this marinate for like 12 hours or three hours. But instead, we're gonna do about 30 seconds. It'd probably taste a little better if we let it go longer, but we just we just never have time. We, I never want to do that. I want just like, I just want this meat in my mouth, you know? So we're just gonna like cook this thing up, get it all soaking, take your piece, throw it in the flour. You can probably throw maybe half of these in at a time. Get them all nice and coated. And you just give them a little toss, you know? Just make sure they're evenly coated. You can even take one at a time and pack it down, do a little pancake flipperoo. Pack it down. You guys know the drill. Franks can make stuff edible. It's not always the best, but it's it's always edible. Sometimes it's the best. But you know, when you're in a time crunch and you don't want to take the time to do something, Franks is it's always there, man. He's like your he's like your best buddy. He's just always there. He's like he's like Finn. You know, he's always always there. He's just ready to comfort you. He's like yeah, it's like a friend that's always there. Like as you and me are staying here. <laughs> right. It's like Finn. It's like what the hell, man? Get it like, like, that's oh, the funny part. Offense <laughs> taken. Get the rest coated in there, nice. Oh, good luck. If you guys are new to the channel, this past winter, fall, Bonzel, me, and John ate, what did we eat? Possum, we ate raccoon, we ate beaver, we had frog legs, squirrel, rabbit, we've had, we had pigeon, yep, you're, the, obviously ducks, geese, cranes, sandhill cranes, I mean, we, we were doing a lot of catching cooks, but this one right here, this is, this is new for everybody, which is, it's hard to do, there's not that many animals that you can hunt and clean and cook that we haven't already eaten, but this is one of them. All right, give it to me, baby. Take your little dangler. She will load up the fryer. It should be one one pan, one frying pan's worth, which is 
what we need right now, which is good. And here we go. Oh, yeah. Mm. Doesn't that just warm your soul? You feel the heat and you're just like, yeah. Hopefully this doesn't taste bad. Yeah. All right, they're floating. When they're floating, that means they're ready. At least for fish fillets. Looks like turtles kind of the same way. Those look good. Little golden crispies. Going on the plate. We're gonna let these guys cool down. A lot of times when you let them cool down, they cook thoroughly too. And we don't have like, you know, done on the outside, not done on the inside. This isn't a medium rare steak necessarily. So we'll let these things cool down. They should cook all the way through, take them inside and convince Macy to eat them. She won't, we'll probably end up giving a piece to Finn and then we'll see how it tastes. Buddy, you get first taste. No. What do you think? Oh, chill, chill. He's not really about it, honestly, dude. He's yeah. usually pretty amped about this. Like, that doesn't smell very good. No, not a, not a fan, man? Wow. All right, that's not looking good, boys. That is not a good, that's not a good start. All right, let's just uh, jump into this thing. Grab your piece. That's good. And, um. I had a good piece. Yeah, I did too. It wasn't like super chewy like I thought. No. It's actually tender. It doesn't even really taste like anything. It's like really tender, like really tender meat. It falls apart in your mouth, and it, I mean, it has a little flavor. All right, lemon. I need your input. It's not bad. It's really not that bad. No. I would say this is like the it's, best mm. rodent we've ate. Yeah, out of, so, out of like all the weird things we've had. Like Frank's, why? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's like, it's like bland, just meat, but like the Frank's makes it like somewhat but good. Isn't it the actual meat's not that chewy, and it doesn't no. have any, like, it doesn't have a game taste, it doesn't have a fishy taste. It's just tender meat it's just tender that meat. tastes like Frank's. Yeah, for it's not a little on Frank. That will be good about that. Mm -hmm. With the sauce. So if we went three, three for three, and that one's good, four for four, then there's not really bad pieces. Because mm -mm. what I did when when we chunked it up was I took some from all the different parts of the turtle basically and put them all into kind of once. We're all getting different pieces of meat technically, but if we, I mean, if four if four of them are, are good, then I imagine I imagine they're all probably pretty good. Let's try this one. I mean, it is really tender. I thought it was gonna be chewy. I thought it was gonna be like um, what did we have raccoon? Yeah. All right, it's kind of chewy. Loki like the turtle mace. It's your turn. No. Turtle. Just a little bite. Just a little bite. Turtle. Just a little one. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Just a little. Okay. All right, dope. All right, folks. Well, that's the end of it, Finn. You missed out, my man. If you had a better reaction, you would have had a piece. I know. I know. Now, oh, oh, no. You know, it's too late, man. But hope you guys enjoyed today's catching cook. It was pretty unexpected. You know, we were looking at doing a beaver catching cook. Said we did a turtle catching cook, and it was pretty good. We didn't have any really bad pieces. I mean, I'm sure there's parts of the turtle that aren't as good as these ones, but we literally just chunked the legs, basically the thighs of all of it, and basically, like I said, just all the, all the any decent chunk of meat that I could trim all the fat off and trim all the, the nasty stuff off is what I threw in there. So I put it in, like, the best of the best, and it honestly tastes pretty good. I feel like if I did that... In a survival situation, minus having the hacksaw, definitely could have survived. I mean, it would have tasted good enough for us to survive, so. Yeah. Hang on, hang on, yep, 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 hang on. We have raccoon, possum, beaver, this. Rank them. I feel like those are like the weird ones. Like yeah. squirrels, not super weird, rabbits, not super weird, pigeons, and not that weird. Only of them have in, in like Franks. Yeah, so okay. beaver, possum, raccoon, and turtle. Beaver, number one, and then turtle, and then Raccoon possum. Yeah, you, you would. Would you I would agree? I would agree. I would agree. The turtle's right below the beaver, just because the beaver tastes like. Yeah, the beaver. It tastes like. like it tastes like steak. This, yeah. This, this beats it yeah. on like tender. Wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a lot more tender than the, than the raccoon, and it tasted taste. better. But the beaver has the best taste. So we have yet to beat the beaver, even though the turtle wasn't bad. I'm sure there's maybe there's better ways to cook this. I don't really know. We just went with the simplest way that we know how to cook this thing, and uh, and we just roll with it. Again, so if you guys enjoyed, let me know in the comment section down below. Comment down below what should we catch and cook next. We're running out of new ideas. As as far as new creatures we didn't even know these things swam in the creeks but they did we caught one and um on accident and it worked out we ate it so let's go finn yeah you really do want a piece don't you thank you guys so much for watching peace